Hi, I'm Kyle from Topspec, and today we're going to be going over my entry-level flight sim rig and how beginners can get into the hobby. Flight sims are a useful tool for those who want to get into real-life piloting, but also can be used just to have fun and add immersion to your favorite flight-based games. But oftentimes people don't know what to get and when to get it, and seeing as it can get kind of expensive, it's best not to throw your money at it without really knowing what you're getting into. This video will be about my personal setup, which consists of the HOTAS, or Hands-On Throttle and Stick, Warthog Joystick and Throttle System, and the Logitech G-Flight Simulator rudder pedals. Starting with the Warthog joystick and throttle, these pieces are replicas of the A-10 Warthog's instruments. The joystick is made from solid metal, and so is the throttle, with plastic pieces where the actual throttle handle connects to the inside of the throttle. Along with mixed metal and plastic buttons and switches, the build quality is just outstanding but the Logitech pedals are mostly plastic and still high quality. All three pieces of equipment have holes for mounting into desks and other surfaces, and the pedals can be mounted to the floor with screws, just like the throttle and joystick. A nice touch for people with fixed setups that don't plan on changing it up. The throttle has adjustable friction, and the pedals have adjustable tension, which means with just a few turns you can go from the controls of a 737 to an F-18. Overall, the quality of these pieces is amazing. The Hotaz Warthog set weighs over 14 pounds, because it's made of solid metal, which is much different from the light and mainly plastic but still high quality Logitech Pro Flight rudder pedals. Both the pedals and the Hotaz are comfortable for long term use and also all connect with USB cables. The Warthog Hotaz uses the Target software, which I would recommend getting familiarized with. Both the HOTAS and pedals can be remapped for tons of different use using software or even just the in-game settings. Now while the HOTAS Warthog sounds like a really good piece of kit, it isn't for everyone. It was my first joystick and throttle, but I wouldn't recommend buying it yourself, uh, unless at some point you plan on taking your skills into the real world and flying real planes. It's less of a toy and more of a tool. Now, this holds true especially if you're going to be playing games more than anything else. The Satek Pro Flight X55 set is a much better alternative for games like Star Citizen, War Thunder, Arma, and things like that. Another way the X55 could help you save money is because the joystick twists which can replace the pedals. Another reason that the X55 is so good for Star Citizen is because in Star Citizen you can yaw, roll, and strafe, meaning you have an extra axis of control, meaning that that twist feature of the stick is going to be really important. But going back to the use of pedals, this changes. I would consider these a necessity for people who are going to be playing flight sims, and overall they just add a bit of immersion to your favorite flight based games as well, which is a nice bonus. Another thing that the pedals are really useful for is people who want to get into real world piloting. I didn't get my pedals until recently and I did my intro flight about 9 months before ever using pedals, which is a really weird feeling when you're taxing and you're essentially steering with your feet. It can be kind of discouraging, difficult, and awkward to people who have never done it before, so I'd recommend that you get your pedals as soon as you can if you're going to start flight sims, so that way once you go into the real world piloting, it's going to be much easier and you'll already be used to this kind of weird process. But going back to flight sims, there's a lot to choose from, and once again, being somewhat expensive, it's best not to put your money into something if you don't know what you're getting into. Currently, my favorite flight sim at the moment is Flight Simulator World. I like it because it focuses on quality over quantity, and it focuses on small planes, which are better to learn in if you're just getting started with the hobby, and are just overall easier for newer pilots. Not only do they focus on quality over quantity, but they also really focused on the graphics. It might not be the most high definition game, but the lighting and everything else combined makes it a very nice and immersive experience. Another thing is the really nice weather effects, a really nice touch from the developers, and it makes the game overall just much better. 
Also because you most likely won't be doing your first pilot's training in a 747, the educational value is more useful to entry level pilots such as myself. That concludes my flight sim rig video. I hope you guys found this helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Please leave suggestions for what we should do next. Uh, and until then, we'll see you next time.